Hi nerds! Today I'm going to talk about self-love because I've hit a few difficult topics in the past and this is another one that I am quite passionate about and have a lot to say about so I thought it would be a good thing to cover. So I am very vocal about loving yourself as a person and everything about yourself, your body, who you are on the inside, and the way that you portray yourself to others, all of that. That is so important to me. And I struggle with it sometimes because I mentioned before about the whole depression thing. Um, it makes things difficult. It makes it very difficult to believe that you're a really good person um, when you have a very... when you're going through something incredibly difficult and you feel like you have a major flaw. And... I mean, everyone has flaws, obviously, but depression is a big one. I believe I'm a good person. I am a good person. And it... It's not always easy to believe that. Um, when... Usually I find myself at my happiest when I'm doing things for others or appreciating others, because when I do that, I appreciate myself more. Because... I've mentioned a million times that people are the most important thing to me, and so I feel like my purpose is to bring joy to other people, so when I'm doing my purpose, um, I feel at my best, and I'm like, yeah, I'm a great person, go me. And a lot of people are very uncomfortable when I say, yo, I'm a really great person, and they're like, wow, you're so self-centered, wow. It's not okay to think you're great, and it really bothers me that the society shames people for thinking that they're really good people, because you're allowed to think you're great. You are allowed to do that. Oh, just, just do it. <laughs> it's fine. It's, I know there's a lot of, like, self-centered people out there, but if your actions are for the best, and you think you're awesome, you can say that! That's cool! I don't know, it's just frustrating. <laughs> uh, I really need to write down these things that I want to say about these topics and then maybe make a main channel video about them because I think my what I'm trying to say will be a lot more clear then. And yeah, I mean, I, I feel like you understand what I'm saying, but at the same time I feel like I'm not using very intellectual terms to portray what I'm trying to say. <laughs> um, something that my friend uh, mentioned to me the other day, we were just hanging out and talking about life and stuff, and um, he said that you shouldn't build a monument to yourself when, you at, when you're at your best, because the second that you're below your best, that monument will just fall over. He used the example of the legs a little bit uneven, so it's just gonna fall over now. And I really, really like that analogy. And I'm gonna remember that probably forever, I think. Um, Cause I do that whenever I'm at my best or feeling good, I tend to be like, yeah, I'm great now. And then when I'm down low, I'm like, wow, I'm a shit person. <laughs> Jeez, why? I used to be cool and now I'm not. Why? And I don't know, there's like little, little things that'll aggravate me and then it'll kind of build up to one big negative thing. Like, it's like Eeyore. There's like a big negative cloud over your head. It's like that. And <laughs> I, I obviously don't like being like that and I do struggle with you know, thinking that I'm still great while I'm going through something incredibly difficult. And so, I don't know, I've been trying to, like, every day I try to remind myself, like, hey, you're cool. Or I do something for someone else and r remind myself that that's why I'm here. That's all I really care about. And I achieved something that I care about. So I should celebrate that by thinking that I'm great. <laughs> because I can do that. I, yeah, I don't know. I think it's very important to think that you're a great person, and if you don't think you're a great person, either find ways to realize you're a great person, I know that's not easy, or change something, because if you're not happy in whatever situation you're in, a job, a relationship, anything, change it. 
because if it's not making you happy, it's not worth it. The search for happiness is incredibly difficult, but it is worth it in every single way. Every time I go through something difficult and I make it through it, I'm like, wow, I feel so fantastic. Everything I just went through is worth it for this feeling right now. And I try to remember those good feelings for later, kind of save them up. It's not not always the best method. I'm trying to find new methods to keep myself going. Not that I'm slowing down, but I I want to stay happier for longer periods of time. <laughs> so I've been trying to keep a positive mindset and talk to people who inspire me and think I'm really cool and I think that they're cool. People who think you're cool are the people you should talk to the most because they really, really help you, I feel. Um, yeah, so I've been trying to do that and just look in the mirror every day and be like, yo, you're great, good job. Or I just dance around like a dork. That usually cheers me up too. <laughs> yeah, so this video was all about me, pretty much, and that's fine, but I think ways for people to learn about themselves is to learn from others, so maybe if something's working for me, it'll help you. Maybe. That'd be cool. Um, yep. This is that. This is a video. Yep. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget how beautiful you are, because you are so great. Never ever forget that, ever. Even though it's hard to remember things sometimes, just remember how wonderful you are, because I really do believe that, and I will talk to you guys later.